I have messed up. And it's truly an embarrassing mistake. And with that, I sadly also ruined one of the most important portraits I've taken so far. But first off, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Karin Mayoka and here on this channel I share my journey in photography, mostly film photography and most recently also large format 4x5 photography by using my Chamonix N2. And so far I've used my 4x5 camera mostly for things like environmental shots or something like urban landscapes and not so much for portraits, even though this was one of the main reasons why I got into the 4x5 system. So when my family visited some weeks ago, and these days it's kind of rare that my parents and my sister visit me at the same time, I knew exactly what I had to do and I convinced them to let me take some portraits. Well, I can save them a gym membership because I have my workout here. But I think here is not the schönste Hintergrund. He has not so angesprochen. So I'm not sure where or how. So my father was the first in Rao. And we found this white wall of a building nearby that would work as a background for my first shot because I really liked the kind of play of shadows that was going on in the background and forming some interesting patterns. However, as I was setting up my camera and getting ready for the shot, a big cloud covered the sun and the play of shadows was gone. It was just one rather simple, rather plain white area and we tried to wait it out. We were hoping that maybe the sun would come out again, but we've waited for around 15 minutes and nothing happened. So I decided to not kind of strain my father's patience for too long and also not risk that he would never ever in his life stand for another portrait. So I took the shot nonetheless, even though it wasn't really the conditions I envisioned beforehand. And there are some things about the portrait I like and some I don't really like. So the final result is a little bit more simple and mundane than I was hoping for. I think uh, the image would have really benefited from more diagonal lines in the background. And the other thing I also don't really like is the way I framed him in the image. I think I should have chosen a different crop because this one here can probably be considered something like an American or a medium long shot. But in hindsight, I probably should have made a bolder decision and either went for a full body shot or something like a mid shot instead. And now it kind of feels like right in the middle and feels like I wasn't really having a goal in mind. However, what I really like is the accumulation of different patterns and clothes my father is wearing in this shot which is rendered really beautifully on this black and white film, uh, which by the way is uh, Foma Pen 100. And the other thing I also really like is the pose and the look my father went for in this shot, because I think it captures really beautifully um, the type of shy, introverted, yet still open-minded personality that he is. Schwarz bedeutet noch nicht belichtet, hell bedeutet belichtet, dann weiß ich diese Seite, da habe ich schon fotografiert, die zweite Seite kann ich noch. So my mother was next in line. I spotted this silo thing in the background and wanted to use it as a compositional element to see what I could do with the negative space around it. Noch ein bisschen? Nach da? Nee, andersrum. Da. Guck mal, da, wo ich zeige. Mit dem Daumen, Mama. Ach nee, scheiße. <laughs> ah, Kamera, hier. Darum, da. Ja, stopp. Mama, ich fokussiere jetzt. Das bedeutet, ab danach darfst du dich nicht mehr bewegen, sondern genau so bleiben, ja? And in the end, I think the composition turned out pretty nicely. I really like that I placed my mother within the rule of thirds. And I also like that the white square of negative space is right above her head, which draws even more attention to her face. And the diagonal line of the silo in the background, I think really fills the frame and makes for a rather balanced out composition. And next up is my sister Sam, 
who by the way spontaneously also filmed a big portion of this video so once again thank you and for this one the setup was rather simple because i simply had her sit on the stairs so we could get an image of her and also a view of the harbor in the background And sadly I didn't get the focus on her eyes spot on, but at least there is a little easter egg hidden in here, because if you zoom in all the way, you can actually see a hidden self-portrait of me in the reflection of Sam's glasses, which I think is really fun. And I think this is actually my favorite shot of the day, because I really like how the fore and background form kind of four evenly sized layers, which are contrasted by the rather symmetrical pose of Sam. This one is a bonus image with Elena, who actually wanted to join us for a coffee later, but since she was already there, of course I had to take another portrait. And I think for this one it was kind of nice to not have the typical front-on portrait, but as she was leaning against the wall, I tried to aim for the side angle instead, which was really a nice change. Overall, I really like this portrait because I think the folded hands and the closed eyes really bring some softness and some calmness to the image. However, I wish that I would have used maybe a little bit of more fall on the front to get rid of the headroom a little bit more and maybe even go a little bit closer to the building to really place her head in the middle of the leading lines in the background because now it's a bit off-centered, which also works, but I think it would have tied the composition together a little bit more neatly that way. This video is sponsored by you. Well, kind of. Technically, this video doesn't have a sponsor, but I want to take a minute to thank my constant supporters on Patreon, because without you, these videos wouldn't be possible in the same way. I am very grateful and very thankful for the constant support and also very grateful for the community that we built up over on Patreon where we hang out regularly. So if you want to be part of that community as well and if you want to get access to additional content and also support my work that way, you should definitely check out my work over on Patreon. And now back to the video. On the way we found this really beautiful blossoming tree and I decided to take a portrait of my parents there together. And just shortly before this portrait session I actually got my 4x5 lenses back which were still in service by Steffen Schüngel and I was really really eager to try them out. Especially the Super Angolon 90mm lens was of my interest because it got stuck before I could even take one individual image with it, so I was very very happy to be able to finally try it out. And in this scene in particular I thought that the 90mm lens would work very well because I could have my parents in the center of attention yet still include a big portion of the tree, so I decided to take this image with the wide angle lens. And here I already made a crucial mistake, which luckily isn't as visible as it will be in the next image. But you can see that my father is in focus while my mother is not, and my mother also has her eyes closed, which wasn't planned. But overall I think this image is still on the edge of still being usable, at least as a memory, while the next image definitely is not. So on the next and last image we wanted to take a group portrait of the whole family, so I tried setting up the camera beforehand and quickly jumping into the frame so that my partner only had to quickly press the trigger. So the big mistake that I made here is that I wanted to use some camera movements for the first time other than rise, fall and shift, camera movements that would control the focus plane. And I have read about tilt and swing before, but to be honest, I didn't really educate myself and even though I've read briefly about it, I didn't really know how to work with it. So when I saw that we wouldn't all be able to fit in the frame in one parallel line, I thought it would be a good idea to compensate for it with a little bit of swing. And it would have indeed been a good idea if I actually knew what I was doing. To be honest, I had no idea what I was doing, I was simply eyeballing everything and on top of that I also got a bit impatient because everybody was waiting for me and we were close to a busy street where people started watching and things like that, so I kind of panicked and I simply messed up. 
And as you can see here, my sister and I are in focus while my parents are really, really badly out of focus, making this image completely unusable, even though this image would have been the most important image of the whole set. And to be honest, this mistake feels really embarrassing to me because I have a YouTube channel about educational things, or at least I hope that some of my videos have some educational purpose. And even with that, I messed up some very, very basic knowledge about large format photography, which honestly really doesn't feel good. However, I know that photography is a learning curve and parts of that is also making mistakes. So even with those embarrassing mistakes, I decided to not pretend they never happened and not edit or cut them out, but in fact make a video about it because it is part of the game. And I can guarantee you that immediately after the shoot, I knew I messed up. I did my homework and I really did some reading up and learning on tilt and swing and more camera movements. So now I know that focus on the far and tilt or swing to the near would have been a better approach than eyeballing. The next mistake will happen for sure. And if you want to be part of my learning curve and maybe even avoid some of the mistakes that I've already done, I encourage you to stick around, maybe even subscribe, and definitely also check out my work on Instagram to not miss anything. And that being said, I would say thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.